welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. Um, I'm going to be taking callers, answering questions, and uh, answering questions on YouTube Live. If if there are any, um, there's this light coming down. Right, believe me, it's even though it's coming from behind me, it's kind of hitting me in my eyes. So. It's very distracting right now. I want to apologize for that. Okay, so, so a, a few things um, for everyone to know. And the first thing is um, that this show airs live on WSCS on um, Roku, Rude Rangers TV, and a... a a number of other um, live streaming channels. It also airs live on <clears throat> a number of podcast stations. So when you're asking your questions or um, coming on live with me, please take me off of speakerphone, have a, an exact question ready and available and be mindful of your questions and your situations that you're putting out there. If you don't want people to know all your business, let's not put it out there because this isn't the only place it is. Second, if you would like to watch the show live, you can watch live every Monday <clears throat> on YouTube um, at noon central time and Wednesday. This Wednesday, I'm doing a special relationship show with Rudy from Rude Rangers TV. Now, here's, you know, I think people have a lot of questions about relationships and the opposite sex. I don't care if you're a man or a woman there and, and if you're just back into the dating situation or not. Um, or you've been in it for a while. I just think people have questions about what, where, why, how. So Rudy and I on Wednesday at noon are going to be answering your relationship questions. And I am inviting men to co-host with me because sometimes women will ask me a question like, why, you know, everything was going great for two weeks and then he disappeared. And, you know, intuitively I can answer that. But I also want a male perspective perspective of why men do that. Or if you're a man asking about a woman, a female perspective of maybe why a woman behaves a certain way or might behave a certain way in a relationship. Everything is not, everybody doesn't do everything for the exact same reasons, okay? There are, there are different reasons why everybody behaves and um, takes the actions that they take. But Rudy and I will do our best Wednesday at noon. If you want to join us and call in with a question today for me or on Wednesday with Rudy and I, if you want to join us live, again, that starts at noon. You can join live at 845-277-9131. If you want to join live uh, and watch the show and maybe post a question in the uh, chat section, you can join us live on YouTube, on my YouTube station. If you are listening on any podcast or on watching on YouTube, uh, please don't hesitate to hit that follow button, subscribe button, whatever it is. So you know whenever a show comes up, every once in a while I pop up, pop, pop up, pop, 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 pop up with a surprise show during the week. Um, so, but I, I try to be here every single Monday, no matter what, even when I'm traveling. I will be on on Mondays if it's a holiday, no matter what it is, I will try to show up on Monday at noon and then for the other shows also. Okay, I want to say hi to Genevieve. Genevieve, I just love you so much. You're amazing. Hi to Heather. 
um, hyphen bounds, bounds, b o u n d s, bounds, bond bounds. It's yeah, I have to rhyme words sometime to get to the right word. Oh, I'm I'm a smarty, and my friend Ray. <laughs> Ray, you are probably cracking your booty up at that. <laughs> It's a little joke that goes way back. Okay, um, and obviously, okay. Anyway, I am going to go into um, into my call log. Hey, Mimi, how are you? I love you, sweet girl. You know, I'm. I just I, I'm going to take calls in a second. I just want to say. I am so grateful and so blessed because I have the most amazing people in my life. I have some extremely amazing male friends that um, they're like soldiers to me. I'm not even joking. They show up. They show out. If something's going on in my life, if I need a moment, they show up. They show out. They're there for me. They don't. Um, They'll drop everything to talk to me as as a male friend. They always give me solid advice, and I do think sometimes it, women who are single or dating or in a relationship they may need a male friend to, to say, "Hey, this is happening. What's going on?" Because the way men and women are in the dating situation and friends arena can be very different. Now, beyond dating. I do own my own business. I do all my own marketing and um, oh, everything, everything for my business. So if I ever have a business-related question, um, they're there. And all all of my guy friends, with the exception of maybe one, yeah, all of my guy friends, oh, two, two of them own their own businesses. They all own their own businesses. They're all solid. They're strong in their businesses. They're extremely successful, and they're happy to, at any point in time, um, give me any kind of um, advice or information and talk to me about that. I'm really lucky. Even you know, one of my male friends um, used to be a pro athlete. Actually, two of my friends used to be pro athletes. They played on the same team, and they will even them. They will like in a minute if I if I call them, they pick up or they'll call me back within a couple of hours. And if I say, "Hey, this is what's going on," they're solid. They're there. They help me. They will give me unbiased information. And my female friends, my real, my real, real female friends. Same exact thing, and I am so blessed that I have that in my life. And Genevieve, I, she even though we've never ever met face to face, doesn't matter. She is one of the most solid, beautiful people I know. Mimi, um, and a couple of other people that are just so amazing in my life. Jessica, who is. <laughs> She's there for my funny man. Some of the stuff she says me, I'm just really blessed and really grateful for that, and really just want to say thank you to all of them because I know they watch, I know they listen, and I know they're there for me. And I hope I get to be there for them as much as they are there for me because these are the good people, and you always want to make sure. You're nurturing those good, solid, healthy situations and relationships as much as you can. I mean, I know a lot of us own our own businesses and we're really busy all the time. But okay, let's get to the callers now. Here we go. I'm gonna start with nine five one nine five one. What's your name? Where are you calling from? How are you doing? Hey, Nathaniel. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm pretty good. Excellent. So, Nathaniel, let's. Um, I guess. Uh, yeah. I guess uh, I should. 
probably a, a C with Bob has to say. Okay, give me a second here. Um, okay, so Nathaniel, the first thing your mom is saying is stay strong. You're in a very, very precarious situation right now. Um, you have been kind of floundering and floating, and it's time to... Well, I'm getting the word restraint, but there's something really going on right now. There's something pretty, um, I don't want to use the word impending, but something pretty, uh, something, Nathaniel, did you recently receive some news that you're not really sure of, or you're not really, um, something that kind of took you off guard or something that made you kind of shook your foundation. Did you recently receive some news? Um, and I feel like, did you recent, did, did, did you get this news yet, Nathaniel? I think so. Okay. And this news kind of, and I'm, I'm not this. I feel like there's two areas that are concerning and one of them might be a um now if this hasn't come in it it might be coming in soon because with energy the timeline can be a little bit um it can be just a little off I, like i can sometimes think things or get information that i think it's at this time frame but it can be a different time frame so i'm just going to ask you was one of those things a medical and or health thing that has recently come in? Yes, I, I have bladder stones. I passed the kidney stones, but they want to do an operation. Okay. Well, what they, thank you for sharing that. And what they're saying is that that's, everything's going to work out. Um, but what they're saying more, um, that's more important is that there might there could be one more thing that comes to the surface, one more thing that you find out about. And what they want you to know is that this is going to work out also. Everything's going to be okay. You need to stay strong and you need to work kind of work diligently on your state of mind to stay in a positive place while you're working through all of this. There is one more thing coming in with these things kind of um, in a not in alignment, but with them. So as soon as you think you're just getting through this, there's going to be that one, just that one more thing that kind of tops it. Don't don't say what's next. Don't say um, what else could go wrong. Be in that place like. Okay, we're getting all of this out of the way so that we can move forward and be in that really good positive place. Um, so they just really want you to know to focus in on being medically in that being being healthy, just being healthy is the way I'm going to put it. Okay, Nathaniel, but the message your mom wants to bring through is that it's all going to work out and you're going to be healthy and you're going to be okay. Okay, love? Okay, I guess that's it. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much, Nathaniel. I'm so grateful for you calling in. I'm sorry. It. Um, I'm going to just go to the next caller, 845. 845, how are you today? I'm well. Thank you for taking my call. Of course. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Lucy, calling from New York. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Lucy, Lucy, oh. calling from New York. Okay, Lucy, how can I help you today? What's your question? Okay, I would like to connect with my mother. Okay. Yeah, or my brother. Yeah. Okay, so you're... Please. Yeah, absolutely, thank you. And yes, absolutely. So the first thing your mom is saying is that... Um, 
are you the first thing she's saying is finances 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 is there something with your finances that you're either questioning or concerned about do you have a concern with your finances right now Uh, concern, I would like to bring more prosperity and abundance. Um, I'm doing uh, today, uh, she's saying in general, yeah. um, I did an investment that is now giving me the return I expect to. Okay. But then, um, and I also doing a contract with somebody that's supposed to adjust the price, but he said he wants the full amount. He doesn't really think that um, he should be lowering the price even though the, the job wasn't as thick as we were expecting to be. Okay. Okay. So what what I'm getting when she says finances, um okay. So um <laughs> This is very tricky, but I'm going to try to do the best I can to say this. The first thing I'm going to do for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, let's do a clearing of anything that's keeping us um, with weak finances. We have weak finances. We're going to clear that. Let's. Um, we have prosperity mindsets, and so let's clear that to a yes. And then the other thing I want to say is wealth is coming to us, so let's clear that. So. Um, what I'm good, what I'm getting, first of all, you have to, the, the one thing I'm getting that she, your, your mother is saying is that you have to watch your finances. Now, watch your finances can mean a couple of different things. It could mean don't let so much go out, but more importantly, and what I think it means in this case is watch your, I, uh, okay, watch your uh, uh, um, she's actually, she's using the word accountability, accountability, um, be being accountable, accountability, being accountable for your finance. I think that's being accountable for your finances. I don't know. Um, what I am going to say is, uh, take, take a, no, what she's going to say is take accountability, take accountability. Don't don't squander, don't squander, don't, don't, yeah, just don't, that's what, take accountability and don't squander. I think that, I think that message is pretty clear. I actually um, don't, don't want to ask anything else. Honestly, I don't want to ask anything else about that. I don't want to know anything else about that. I just, I'm going to say, she wants you, I think she wants you to watch, be, be very careful and watch your finances and make sure that you are paying attention and taking accountability for what you're spending and what you're not. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm very, very grateful for that. I'm going to go to the next caller, 415. 415, how are you today? <laughs> Hi, Tony. This is Anne in Washington. Hey, Anne. How are you? Hey, I'm pretty good. I had a great trip in um, Mexico, and when I came back, I got a cold from the the temperature drop. It was like about 50 degrees different, uh -huh. but I had this weird breakout on my face, and I just don't know. I'm not really a medical question, but is there anything going on? energetically or what is it a climate change as well no it's not climate change okay the i think the obvious human thing i would say is did you did you start putting something new on your face but what i'm going to also say is i think it's a reaction i'm getting two things um mm -hmm. and you been to, I think you've been to Mexico before so I don't think it's the sun being on your face yeah. because some people can break out from the sun I don't think it's that I think no it's I think it's something yeah, it happened here it happened when I got back I I actually and I think it's something you ingested 
I really do. I think it's something uh, yeah. you ingested and it's, it's affecting your face. It will spread further down. It will spread. If you continue to ingest this, it'll spread more throughout mm. your body. Um, more throughout your body. I don't think that's proper English, whatever. Um, but, <laughs> but it will keep it. It will keep going. Um, sometimes the more of a alert, the more. Okay. The more we put something we're allergic to in our body, the more of a breakout that we have, but it comes slowly because we're not, we're not severely allergic or we're not putting enough in our body. So right. what I would look at is what you've been eating that is new or changed in the past couple of right. uh, prior to prior to when this started, I think it's, it, Got it. It, and it might be a product you've always been eating, but they have changed the ingredients in them. So I would first check with that because that is what I'm getting. And I hope that this was helpful right. for you. Uh, yeah, definitely. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling I'll, in. I'll I'll, I'll eat a clean, I'll just have soup for a while. I'm, I'm so sorry? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, eat a minimal diet and just have clear soup or things to clear it up. Yeah, and I do think, I, I want to say, I do think that you can actually eat um, pure foods. Like, if it, I think this is something that has multiple ingredients in it. For example, if you eat chocolate and you've consistently had the same chocolate and you um, all of a sudden eat it again and it's repackaged, they may have changed one ingredient in that chocolate that is the same brand you've been eating, but they just changed one ingredient in it. So I think whatever this is, it's a multi-ingredient um it's a multi-ingredient food that you're eating that is doing this. And again, if it's not that, it's a multi-ingredient product that you're using, which is a no-brainer, but I, I'm going to say it, it could be the food. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, 720. Hey, 720, how are you today? Hi, I'm great. Excellent. Um, I would love it if you could connect either, I mean, anybody who's come through, but maybe preferably my, either my brother or my mother. Okay, what's your brother's first name, love? Um, his name is Gerald, but he didn't like that name, so we called him Jerry. Okay, and your mom's first name? Celia. Okay, so... Um, your brother comes through a little bit strong. Your mom is coming through a little bit softer, but they're together. I want to tell you, um, your brother is, our, <laughs> I think collectively are together. They're talking about um, something with your relation, relationship situation. Um they're talking about something with a relationship situation. Now, I'm going to say, because I don't have enough information yet, this can be a friend relationship or a partner relationship. And what they, uh, they keep saying, go for it, go for it, go for it. I don't understand what they're saying, go for it about yet. Um, and I do, I do feel like this is definitely relationship. Um, and it is definitely, I, I, I'm just, not, can I ask you, are you, um, are you in a partner relationship right now? Um, I'm married, but I don't know, for some reason I'm feeling like you're not talking about my marriage, but 
<laughs> well, I, I don't hope, know. I, I hope <laughs> I'm not I talking. Gonna, I, I've gotten a few messages that something's going to happen in February. I so maybe in my, that I should go, that I need to like take action on it. So I'm thinking to go for it. Might be that what they're talking about. I'm not sure. Okay. What the relationship part is though. I I the hope, people I'm working for. I hope that if you are married and this is a partner thing, they're not talking about go for it with something else because they would not do that. There is something, you know, there's, no. there, okay, here's what I'm going to say. I'm hearing three words or well, go for it is three words, but I'm also hearing relationship and I'm also hearing fiance. Okay. So now I'm going to bet a lot that they're not saying go for it with somebody else's fiance. That's not, that is not what they are saying. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I do feel like if there's a situation that comes in that involves a fiance that is not romantic for you personally, and they make an offer to you um, that you you should go for it. You should do it. Don't hesitate. I do feel like you're going to know about this by the end of the month. I do feel like whatever this is, it's going to bring up, it's going to like invoke, invoke some emotion in you. Okay. So good emotion, good emotion. If you don't know about it, by the end of this month, it'll be by the end of next month. When they say by the end of the month, it could be by the end of December. I do feel like this is has something to do with somebody close to you. And I do feel like it, like I'm hearing surprise, surprise. So whatever it is, I feel like there's something coming in by the end of I'm going to go, it could be by the end of November, but I'm going to go with the end of December, beginning of January, just in case. And it's going to kind of surprise you. It's going to fill you with a lot of good emotion. And it is going to have something to do with a fiance or a fiance type situation. And whatever it is, they're saying, go for it. Now, I'm because this is a surprise situation. I've probably said a little too much already, but I haven't given away. <laughs> right. like, like, like I always tell them, if somebody comes in and their fiance is going to propose, do not tell me if it's a surprise because I will spill that bag. I am going to put it out there. Um, so please know that whatever this is, it's coming in. You'll know about it soon. And I do see that what, okay, so this is what I can tell you because <laughs> they're okay. showing me something else and they know I'm a show and tell person. If you show me, I'm telling. It's just like that. I do see them holding a baby. And to me, <laughs> when they're holding a baby, it means one of two things, okay? Okay. In this particular case, right? Oh, I here. can tell you, I'm a nanny of a baby. Nope. I'm a nanny. That is I not. I have a five month old baby who I. That is not what they're talking about. No. And I can tell Sorry. you that right now. Okay. When, when I see them, they would show me a baby here then. This is a baby that's um, not here yet. Okay. So what I'm getting is that. Um, one of two things, either whatever this, whatever comes in that invokes all of this emotion will eventually lead to this, okay, will eventually lead to this situation with a baby, or um, that whatever comes in that invokes a lot of emotion, it just has something to do with the baby, either immediately or down the line, okay? And again, okay. I may have said too much, so... <laughs> So thank you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope thank this you. was helpful.